Welcome back everybody, my name is Nick930 and today we're going to look at the top 10 best survival games. For this list, we're going to try and focus on survival games that can be played entirely alone and offline. If you want to see which competitive survival games I thought were best, be sure to check out the link at the end of the video. Number 10, State of Decay. State of Decay released on the Xbox as an exclusive back in 2013 alongside PlayStation's The Last of Us. While not as impressive as the game The Last of Us, State of Decay managed to deliver some phenomenal zombie survival gameplay. Instead of controlling one primary protagonist in State of Decay, you control any survivor you can find and increase their skills by going out in the world and scavenging for skill upgrades. If your character dies, that character would be dead for good, and you continue playing as one of the other rescued survivors. The game featured a large open world, vehicles to drive, supplies to loot, and even the ability to build up your own base of operations. I love how clearing out zombie infested buildings would mark them as cleared on your map, allowing you to keep track of areas you've looted, and occasionally you'd run into buildings that were completely infested with a large number of zombies and special zombie types. Number 9, Terraria. While not as heavy in the survival elements as other games on this list, Terraria does feature some of the best crafting and day-night based gameplay of any game on this list. You play as a basic sprite 2D protagonist with nothing more than a few basic tools to help you get started. Eventually, you'll learn that the entire world can be torn down and repurposed for your needs. Trees can be destroyed and used to build wood houses. Caves can be flooded to kill enemies below. And you better lock your doors at night before the horde of zombies shows up outside your walls. Minecraft is also very similar in these regards and deserves recognition for the same reasons. But I personally am more of a fan of Terraria because of the art and design style choices and seemingly endless amount of content hidden in the depths of the game's world. Number 8, Seven Days to Die. Seven Days to Die looks like a game built in a week, but it still boasts an impressive fan following and delivers some of the best first-person cooperative survival gameplay even today. You can break down things like trees and use them to build up your fortress as you fight back hordes of zombies with your friends, and then scavenge nearby towns for more weapons and ammo. It's a very basic survival game, but it works exceptionally well, and it essentially delivers the Minecraft experience with slightly better visuals and a more mature theme. Number 7, Sir, You Are Being Hunted. Loosely inspired by the stories like The Most Dangerous Game, Sir is a first-person survival game where you're being hunted down by a group of old-timey British humanoid robots and their pets. You need to find food and water while also navigating through the world, avoiding the hunters, and it makes one for one of the most unique and creative survival experiences on this list. Number 6, Project Zomboid. Project Zomboid is an isometric zombie survival game with graphics that look like a game that came from the 90s. But what this game lacks in graphical quality, it more than makes up for in depth. The survival elements in this game are extensive to the point where you need to manage your character's nerves to improve their ability to aim and fight. This game is the ultimate zombie survival game and features anything and everything you could come to expect from a zombie survival scenario. Number 5, Stranded Deep. Stranded Deep is a first person survival game that takes some obvious strong inspiration from the movie Castaway. After a plane crashes on a deserted island, you need to scavenge for supplies and hunt the nearby sea life to stay alive. After exhausting your resources on one of the tiny islands, you better have built a boat because you'll be forced to island hop quite a bit in order to stay alive. Number 4, Subnautica. Subnautica is similar to Stranded Deep, only this game has no land at all. Instead, you are forced to survive completely underwater, and eventually you will be able to build extensive underwater facilities by using the nearby alien wildlife and resources to craft them. The game world is completely alien, and every species you encounter is unique, and the game's graphics and art style feel refined and polished. Subnautica even features full virtual reality support, but if you get VR sickness easily, I'd probably recommend avoiding that. Number 3, The Forest. The Forest is easily the best looking game on this list, which is an impressive feat considering only one guy is developing this game. In The Forest, you and your son crash land on a mysterious forest island and are immediately confronted by cannibals that kidnap your son and run off. When you wake the next day, you are forced to loot the crash plane for any supplies you can carry, and you then begin your journey as you try and track down your son while also trying to maintain your own health. You'll need to eat, drink, and even bathe to stay alive, Cutting down trees and building shelters in the trees is a must if you plan on surviving the consistent waves of cannibal scouts that will keep stalking you in the woods. Number 2, The Long Dark. The Long Dark is a survival game that takes place in a rural town completely covered in a blizzard. You need to maintain your body temperature while also finding food, water, and shelter. 
This game has such deep survival mechanics that you need to ensure that you boil your water before drinking it to avoid getting dysentery. You also need to maintain calories and repair clothing to keep you warm as you travel from one shelter to the next, hunting for scraps of wood and frozen meat. It's a brutal survival game that also features a unique art style that makes you feel like you're part of a painting, and this game was very close to earning the top spot on this list. But before I reveal my top pick for best survival game, here's a few other titles that I considered. And my number one pick for best survival game is Don't Starve. Don't Starve is the perfect mix of survival elements, creative atmosphere, and fun gameplay. The world is heavily inspired by Tim Burton. Everything from the menus, the character, and even the music will consistently remind you of this. The world of Don't Starve is incredibly brutal, and you'll find yourself dying from ridiculous things all the time. But despite the trial and nature mentality in the game design, it's a joy to play, and the small lessons you learn keep you coming back for more every time. The world is incredibly detailed, with interweaving ecologies like planting flowers will cause butterflies to arrive, which can then be farmed for butter and butterfly wings that can give you player health. The game's difficulty really ramps up around the winter time, where the player is forced to travel in the unforgiving cold from fire to fire, while still trying to scavenge for food that can't grow in the snow. It's a beautifully done game, and easily the best survival game available. And that's my list for best survival games. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more top 10s posted every week.